Beautiful. Satnam, welcome everybody. Today we do part one of the Kundalini practice for vitality, focusing on the heart center. And we're focusing on the heart from a space of self-love. And we ask ourselves, how is self-love relevant to vitality? And as with all of our vitality practice so far, when we have a lack of self-love, we dampen that vitality. We think of ourselves as created in the image of God. And of course, when we speak of God in the yogic sense, we talk about the generator, the organizer, and the destroyer. So whatever your uh, belief system is around the concept of God, whatever it is that you believe turns the seed into the flower, that is what we're speaking of when we talk about God in the yogic sense. So if we consider ourselves created in the image of God, how can we not have love for the self without denying the love for God, for the creator? And that's really what we're going to be working with today. Loving yourself so much that you don't see yourself separate from all of existence. But you start to see yourself as even more than part of. You start to really experience yourself as the creator, as that divine energy that drives. So let's start by tuning in. You can bring your hands together, rubbing your palms together and come to your heart center. Take a beautiful, long, deep inhalation and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And we'll inhale to begin. Om. Good in a mess, you got good in a mess, that good in a mess, city good day, vain a man. I'd good in a mess, you got good in a mess, that good in a mess, city good day, vain a man. I'd good in a mess, you got good in a mess, that good in a mess, city good day, vain a man. Deep breath in. And exhale, release. You can bring your hands to your knees. Let's start with spinal flexes. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Just gently awakening the spine. Beautiful. Please excuse my phone that I left my timer at home. I'm timing my phone. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Beautiful. Remember to keep your neck in line with your spine and to move at the rhythm and the pace that your body needs because we always know exactly what we need but we've been taught of course to look outside of ourselves for the answers and really that's where we begin to lose touch with the self where we begin to doubt that we are indeed perfect that we were indeed made exactly as we were meant to be. Come to center and move to a Sufi grind. And really just allow your body to move exactly as it needs to. I really love the Sufi grind because it's such a, a beautiful posture for telling me exactly what I need 
every time I practice this posture, it's slightly different. If we don't force it, if we just trust that the body knows what it needs and change direction. There we go. Let's keep going. Keep your breath and rhythm with your movement. And even that may change from day to day when you're moving intuitively and you're feeling your way through it. And come back up to center. Drop your chin to your chest. And inhale as you roll your head back. Exhale across your chest. Keep that beautiful rhythmic movement going. Shoulders are relaxed. And there may be movement in the shoulders. Just allow that. And change direction. Soften into the pose. Trust your body. Beautiful. And come to center. Drop your chin to your chest. And inhale all the way back. And exhale, chin to chest. And again, just keep this movement going. Maybe you need to move faster. Maybe you need to slow down. Whatever feels right. Back to center. Left ear to left shoulder. And right ear to right shoulder. Well, sometimes you want to do this really slowly, really feeling into it. Other times you want to move a little bit faster. Just trust what your body wants from you today. And come back to center. You can open out your legs, taking them as wide apart as you can get them. Rolling forwards onto your sitting bones. Inhale at the center and then exhale as you reach your chin towards your toes, bending from your hips, keeping your belly light engaged. Each exhalation, drawing your chest a tiny bit closer towards your thighs. Inhale up, exhale down. Beautiful. Inhale, come up to center, turn to face your right leg and exhale, relax down. And really soften and surrender into this. Deeply relax. Use the exhale. So each exhale just takes you a tiny bit deeper into the stretch. Inhale up to center, turn to the left, and exhale, relax down. Deeply soften. Breathing, using the exhale. And inhale, coming back up to center. Bend your left knee in towards your right thigh. Lengthen your spine. Right hand to the left knee. Lift and twist. Inhale, lift up and exhale, twist round. Inhale up and exhale round. Beautiful. 
and stay active in the posture. And release, change sides. Left hand to right knee, lift your chest up and exhale as you twist round. Inhale up and exhale round. Beautiful. Inhale up and exhale round. Inhale up and exhale round. And come back to center. Open out your legs again, deep breath in, and exhale, soften to the center. Now I want you to really relax here. So just listen to your body and feel where there are any areas of tension. Maybe you need to soften your hips, your lower back. Maybe soften your chest, maybe your shoulders. Really relax into it. Relax it. Relax even more. Beautiful. And curling up. You can draw your legs together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, stretch forwards, inhale up and exhale down. Again, with each exhalation, just notice your chest coming closer towards your thighs. Beautiful, keep going, use that exhale. Hinging from the hips, neck stays in line with the spine. Deep breath in, lengthen your spine and exhale, relax down, palms face up, head and shoulders relax, soften down, deeply relax and keep using that exhale. With each exhale, your whole body softens and relaxes. And gently curl up. And then roll down onto your back and come to Shavasana for just a moment. Feet mat distance apart, palms face up, eyes closed. And surrender completely. Soften into that space of awareness. And ask yourself, why don't I love myself fully and completely? When did I start thinking that my imperfections were something I should be ashamed of instead of embrace? When did I start believing imperfection? When did I stop honoring my own needs in order to satisfy or impress others? And really, I think for many of us, that's where we lose the self-love and trying to fulfill other people's dreams, other people's ideas. Lao Tzu has a beautiful quote. He says, because one believes in oneself, one doesn't try to convince others. Because one is content with oneself, one doesn't need others' approval because one accepts oneself, the whole world accepts them. But of course, somewhere along the way, it didn't feel like that, did it? So I want you to roll over now onto your left hand side. And we're going to lie on our sides, head supported by the hand, and you can use your there's this right hand to support your body in this posture. And the movement is a very quick inhaling up and exhaling down. Keep your belly nice and strong and move powerfully. Inhale up, exhale down. Beautiful. 
effort. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Close your eyes and get into the rhythm of the movement. Now with this movement, of course, we're working very strongly into the lower triangle of chakras. And as we know, the lower triangle of chakras really connects us to our earthly existence. It's the physicality of our existence that we experience here in the lower triangle. And very often, when these needs aren't met or they become distorted, this is where we start to lose the sense of self and where self-love begins to dissipate. Inhale up, exhale down. Beautiful. Just keep going. You may start to notice that your legs feel a little bit heavy or a little bit uncomfortable. But just find a way. Just keep going. Obviously, remember, pain is where you stop. Discomfort, we find a way through. Beautiful. Loving yourself can really become a radical act of rebellion. Because we're constantly told how we should behave, what we should do. We're not doing this right. We don't look right. We did that wrong. And so when we love ourselves, despite the narrative around us, it really is an act of rebellion. Beautiful. And let's change sides. Rolling over onto the opposite side. Supporting your head, your head now with your right hand. And raising and lowering the left leg. Strong, powerful breathing. Beautiful. Eyes are closed. Very nice. And just keep moving. When we bring the leg to 90 degrees, the angle that's created there works directly into the sacral chakra, Svadhisthana. And the sacral chakra, of course, represents our creativity. It's where we create life. It's where our ideas are born. But it also represents relationships. And the most important relationship we will ever have is the relationship to self. If the relationship to self isn't pure and beautiful, it taints every relationship we will ever have. The relationship we have with our spouse or partner, with our parents, with our children, everything is tainted when we're unable to love ourselves. Keep going. Doing really well. Last few seconds. Find a way. And release. Now roll over onto your belly. Make a pillow with your hands. Rest your forehead on your hands. Bring your big toes together and allow your heels to flop out to the sides. Now take a beautiful long deep inhalation. Squeeze more bund. Lift the pelvic floor, lift the anal muscles. And as you hold the breath in, allow that breath to circulate through your body. Every single cell filled with this healing energy. Take more breath in, hold it. And exhale. Now take another deep breath in. And exhale all the way out. And hold the breath out. 
Now it can be really challenging to hold the breath out. So if you haven't done this before, be very gentle with yourself. But really focus on keeping the breath out, not taking another breath in. And if you can, keep holding for just a few seconds. And inhale, relax deeply. Feel the sensations of being completely in your body. Letting go of all the layers that you've gathered that never belong to you to begin with. Other people's expectations, other people's judgments, your own judgments, your own expectations. And just release, surrender. Beautiful. Now you can come up onto your elbows into Sphinx pose. Elbows underneath the shoulders, palms flat. And then I want you to push your chest forward and lift your chest up. Take your head all the way back and stay active to your fingers. Don't let your hands just relax. Stretch your fingers out so that they're completely active. Push through the elbows and the shoulders, head back. And begin breath of fire. As you do this beautiful strong breathing, I want you to stay active in the pose. Stretch out your fingertips, push through your elbows, pull your head away from your shoulders, completely active and beautifully connected to this posture. Let your hips relax, there's no tension in your lower back. Lift your chest up, throw your head back, feel that vulnerability in your throat, in your chest. Beautiful. Keep going, stay with that breath. <sighs> Keep your breath strong, keep your breath powerful, lift your chest up, head back, feel the extension through your throat. Beautiful, last few seconds. And release, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, push up, push back, Take your knees apart, sit back on your heels, and let your chest just fall down between your knees. Relax your forehead to the mat. Allow your shoulders to slump forward. And take a beautiful, long, deep inhalation. Squeeze more bund, lift the pelvic floor, the anal muscles, and visualize the breath as a beautiful, healing, white light. And imagine that light moving through your body, touching every single cell, that 37.2 trillion cells in your body. Take more breath in, hold it. And exhale, release. And breathe normally, softening into it. Being completely present. And curling up. And then you can extend your legs out in front of you. And we're going to do everybody's favorite, body drops. So as we know with body drops, the body becomes um, very accustomed to doing the same thing in the same way. So whatever your lifestyle is, you probably have a routine. You probably wake up and do the same thing. You probably have the same activities every day. 
whether you're running every day or you're sitting at a desk every day. And so we become very comfortable in that familiar space. And what happens is we get blockages of energy, of toxins in the body. So body drops really just help to shake things up. Emotionally, mentally, you can feel a little bit silly. It feels a little bit uncomfortable. And that's also part of the process to just allow whatever comes up to come up. So today we're doing them with straight legs. We're going to press on the mat, lift the hips up and drop down. And contrary to how us ladies usually are, we want everything to wobble. So all of those bits that we're usually trying to keep together. How many of us are ashamed of our wobbles and our bikinis? Well, today is not the day for that. Today we're proud of our wobbles. Beautiful. That's it. You want to feel every single cell being completely shook up with this movement. Close your eyes. Notice what's happening in your body. Notice where your thoughts are going. And immediately you feel this beautiful heat start to rise in the body. Stay present to that heat. Feel the heat in your body. Notice what it feels like. That's it. Everything wobbling. There we go. Beautiful. Keep going. Find a way to just keep lifting and dropping. Inviting discomfort. Inviting the unfamiliar. Creating space for what needs to be. And we're into the final stretch. Not long to go. Just keep dropping, keep wobbling the whole body. Only 10 more seconds. And release, sitting in staff pose, long, beautiful, deep inhalation. Squeeze more bun, lift the pelvic floor, lift the anal muscles, hold the breath in, and visualize the breath moving to every single cell in the body. Take more breath in, hold it. And exhale, take a deep breath in, exhale, inhale, and again, exhale all the way out now, releasing every last drop of breath from your body and hold the breath out. Notice how it feels to have no breath in the body. Feel what it feels like to have no breath in the body. And with deep gratitude, inhale and continue breathing normally. Beautiful. And then come to a squatting position. And no, we're not doing frogs. <laughs> so if you can, heels are flat on the mat. If you can't get your heels flat, you may want to just pop a cushion underneath your heels. Let your hips sink down. And then bring your palms together. Index finger is extended. So yeah, I look a little bit like uh, Charlie's Angels with my gun. So point your index finger. Relax your shoulders. Let your hips sink down between your heels and begin breath of fire. Beautiful, strong breath of fire. Really allow the hips to sink all the way down. 
keep your shoulders relaxed. Make sure you aren't scrunching your shoulders. Shoulders are down away from the ears and the breath is strong. Take your gaze to your fingertips, to the end of your index fingers. Elbows are straight. Fingers pointing away from the body as if you were pointing a gun. That's it. Beautiful. Keep the breath strong. This is a great posture for the eliminatory system. And so as you do this posture and your hands are pointing away from you as if you're pointing a gun, we're inviting elimination through the body. So just allow yourself to maybe imagine that you're shooting away everything that's holding you back from loving yourself. All of those things that stop you from seeing the beauty of your true nature. Shooting them into orbit. Beautiful. Just a few more seconds. Stay with it. Elbows are extended. Arms pointing away from your body. Beautiful. We're so close now. Only 15 more seconds. Stay with your breath of fire. Keep your breath strong. It's tempting to lower the arms, but just try and keep them up. And release. Bring your hands to your mat. Lean forwards into your hands. Take a deep breath in. Feel the weight of your body pressing through your hands. Squeeze more band, lift the pelvic floor, lift the anal muscles. Take more breath. And exhale, release. Coming down to a seated posture. And just be here. Be all here. Notice the subtle refined movements within the stillness. Allow yourself to be completely present without judgment or expectation. Beautiful. So for the next posture, we're going to do the Kundalini Lotus. And there are a few variations. So it's really important that you simply honor where you are. Holding the inside of your heels, your hands wrapped to the inside of your heels. We find the space between the coccyx and the sitting bones. And you can start by just gently lifting your feet off the mat and find that balance. Now, if your spine curls, you're going to roll like a ball. So make sure your spine stays nice and straight. And then from here, you can maybe bend your legs halfway, see if you can balance there. And if it's possible, taking your legs all the way out and starting a breath of fire. So find where it feels most comfortable for you. And let's go. Remember, it's more important to be stable. So if this is where you are today, just be there and hold there with your breath of fire. That's absolutely fine. Strong breathing, getting into that space. Beautiful. Feel the movement of your belly. Be completely there. Be all present wherever you are is absolutely where you're meant to be. You're doing really well, find a way, stay with it.
we're nearly there now, just a few more seconds. Keep your breath strong, breathing into the belly. Last 15 seconds. And release. Bring the soles of your feet together. Push your feet away from your body into diamond pose and relax. Allow your breath to become very natural. Feel what it is that your breath wants from you right now and breathe into that space. Surrender your shoulders, surrender your hips. We'll be all there. No judgment, no expectation. Just a beautiful surrender. And gently curling up. You can extend your legs out in front of you now. Coming into Paschimottanasana, the sitting forward bend. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, hinge forward from your hips. Grab hold wherever you can. And deeply relax. Paschimottanasana is one of the three postures that Swami Sridhananda recommended we did every single day. Amazing healing benefits. So just soften down and acknowledge the healing that takes place in the stillness. So much of our time and energy goes into doing and so little into being. In yoga, we speak about inaction, inaction. The concept that while you do nothing, so much is happening. So feel that action now that is happening within this inaction. As you surrender yourself fully and completely, you create space for healing. Notice what your breath is very naturally doing. And then notice where your thoughts are going. And observe the path of your thoughts. Again, do this without judgment. Just step away from them and see where they go. Learning to be at peace with ourselves in stillness is really one of the most challenging things that we can do. And very gently curling up, place your hands, palms facing up in your lap. Spine beautifully straight and take a long, deep breath in. Hold your breath, squeezing more bum. Take more breath in. And exhale. Feel the sensations of being once again in, in action. Beautiful. And then you can come to 
a cross-legged posture. We're gonna have the arms out at shoulder height, the palms facing away from the body and staying really active through the hands. It's as if you were pulling the fingertips back towards your wrists. And the movement is inhale up and in, uh, middle fingers touch at the top of your head and exhale down. But we have to move quite quickly. So to get those fingers to touch needs a little bit of awareness and coordination. And let's go. Now your elbows stay beautifully straight throughout and your hands stay really active, pulling the fingertips back towards the wrists. So it may feel a little bit awkward, unfamiliar, but of course, as yogis, we love the unfamiliar. So just allow it. Moving quickly, moving powerfully, keeping the elbows beautifully straight. Check in with your shoulders, make sure you don't have any unnecessary tension in your shoulders. Let's see, I've got a, my heart is on fire. <laughs> the morning sun is striking in exactly the right place right now. Just love these synchronicities, these moments when everything just comes together so perfectly. And we know that if we tried to plan these moments, it would be impossible. And so we just take a moment to feel so much gratitude and awe, recognizing that we are always exactly where we need to be, always in exactly the right place at exactly the right time. And inhale, take your arms up, interlink your fingers, palms face upwards. Squeeze more bend, lift the pelvic floor, lift the anal muscles. Hold the breath in and circulate the energy through your body. Take more breath in. And exhale, release your arms, come to stillness. Notice the atmosphere around your body. Whenever we work in the auric field like that, we instantly change our energetic frequency. Just feel that now. That awareness that you have so much control over your own environment, over you. Beautiful. Now, if it's possible, come onto your knees. If there's pain in your knees, as always, you can remain in a cross-legged posture. We're going to lean back on the hands, bringing the hands more or less underneath the shoulders. Lift the chest up and drop the head back. And hold there with a beautiful, strong breath of fire. Chest up, head back, throat exposed. Such a beautiful posture of vulnerability. Lifting up, leaning back. Beautiful. Stay active through your chest. Active through your throat. When we love ourselves enough, we express ourselves from absolute authenticity. There is no doubt. There is no trying to please others. There is no trying to prove ourselves to others. And as Lao Tzu says, because one accepts oneself, the whole world accepts them. But for most of us, we operate from the opposite perspective. 
I must impress the world and then the world will be impressed with me. And as we've all learned, that never ever works. Chest up, head back. Beautiful, keep going. As Brene Brown teaches us, if I'm myself and somebody doesn't like me, well, so be it. At least I'm still being myself. But if I'm trying to impress someone and they don't like me, I have lost both my authenticity and their approval. Beautiful, coming up, hands to your feet, bring your forehead down to the mat, shoulders slump forward, hips sink back onto your heels, and take a beautiful, long, deep inhalation. Squeeze more bund, lift the pelvic floor, lift the anal muscles, hold the breath in. Take more breath in, hold it. And exhale, surrender. Feel what you're feeling. Be completely present to those sensations in your body. And then very gently curl up. Bring your hands onto the mat. Tuck your toes under. Straighten your legs. And walk your hands to your feet. Grab hold of your elbows. Shift your weight into the balls of your feet. Lift your tailbone up and drop your head down. And as you just hang here, Feel that sweet surrender. It's like a rag doll draped over a banister. Shifting the weight into the balls of your feet, tailbone up, head and neck, relaxed, breathing into it. With each exhale, surrender just 1% more. And then release your hands. Coming down onto your knees. Remember, if it's not possible to sit on your knees, please don't force it. Then we're going to remain seated on the left foot. And we're going to bring the right foot up. Now you can stay here. Or if it's possible, bringing the right foot into half lotus on the left thigh as you sit on the left foot. Bring your palms together and breathe long, deep breaths. If you're struggling to balance, just use one hand to support you. You can bring your cushion, tuck it under your right knee. lengthening your exhale. Feel that movement of energy within your body as you surrender fully and completely. Lengthening the breath. Eyes are closed. Mm -hmm. 
because one believes in oneself. One doesn't try to convince others because one is content with oneself. One doesn't need others' approval because one accepts oneself. The whole world accepts them. and release and then you can lie down on your back in shavasana or any other comfortable relaxation posture and you may want to cover yourself with a blanket just really allowing yourself to become as comfortable as you possibly can Deeply relaxing. I relax my feet. I relax my feet. my feet are relaxed. I relax calves and thighs, hips and buttocks. I relax abdomen and chest, hands and arms. Neck, shoulders, face, eyes, nose, mouth. Deeply relaxed.
and there is peace within me. Peace around and peace in all the world. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. You can start to bring your awareness to the rise and fall of your chest. Very gently rubbing your thumb across your fingertips and moving your toes. And you can take your arms above your head, have a lovely stretch. Hugging your knees to your chest. Drop your knees to the right as you look over your left shoulder and change sides. And coming to center, rubbing the soles of your feet, the palms of your hands together, rocking up and coming to Sukhasana. May the long time sun shine upon us. All love surround us and the pure light within guide our way on. Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Satnam. May you have a beautiful, beautiful day.